process failure mode and effects analysis the process failure mode and effects analysis are used to analyze manufacturing and or assembly process process fmea is probably the most commonly used and is also the least complex in most cases let's understand the process fmea with the help of an example many abduction cases were occurred in new city hospital over last 5 years top management tries to find out the faults causes and effects in the existing process of the hospital it is very awful to tell you that the almost 145 cases of abduction have been identified in our hospital well this hospital has on an average 300 births every month it is high time to identify the faults and take essential steps to stop abduction cases in our hospital for this matter my team has performed process fme immediately in the hospital and it is identify certain process fault such as the hospital does not have a baby risk code system mechanism of giving passes to attend of the patients security staff is not well educated and trained to read the passes also the passes do not have a photo id but only the name of the bearer so what are the areas where we can work on areas include bending of infants training in education of nurses and staff coping data surveillance attendance briefing police reporting and sops for security of patients okay so let's start the process immediately process fmea was found to be highly beneficial and played an essential role in day to day improvement and problem solving process failure modes and effect analysis in healthcare the provision of healthcare hinges on a complex series of interaction among doctors nurses technologists scientists patients and technology and so fmea is certainly appropriate for use as a proactive tool to improve patient safety and efficiency within the hospital let's watch the video lecture which will give you more information about the basic function and importance of fmea in healthcare failure modes and effects analysis FMEA in healthcare Since the 1960s FMEA has been used in nuclear military aviation food and automotive industries to enhance safety with considerably positive results The same process can be used in healthcare to enhance safety and minimize medical errors FMEA has been in use since the 1960s in high risk engineering industries for example the aerospace industry but has only filtered into healthcare in the past decade or so surprisingly the healthcare system appears to be lagging behind other high risk industries in the management of safety issues as was outlined in the report of the institute of medicine to err is human building a safer health system FMEA has been successfully applied in the healthcare setting to improve the safety of drug administration and blood transfusions. In several studies, investigators have shown that FMEA has been effective with a reduction in risk to patients after interventions carried out subsequent to FMEA being performed. FMEA allows improvement in A the early detection of problems that could occur and b the development of strategies to reduce the severity of the failure the modification of traditional fmea known as healthcare failure mode and effect analysis h fmea was introduced in 2001 by the us department of veterans affairs national center for patient safety HFMEA was derived from FMEA to be used specifically in the healthcare setting because the authors thought that specific healthcare issues were inadequately dealt with by using FMEA this specific type of FMEA known as HFMEA combines concepts components and definitions from FMEA hazard analysis critical control points from the management system known as hazard analysis and critical control points HACCP and root cause analysis HFMEA has been proposed as a simpler easier to use 
form of FMEA. HFMEA has also been applied successfully in the setting of drug ordering, sterilization of surgical instruments and the reduction of tubing misconnections as well as in the radiology department. Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis HFMEA, is a prospective assessment that identifies and enhances steps in a process that reasonably confirm a safe and clinically desired outcome. Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis HFMEA, is a systematic approach that identifies and prevents product and process problems before they occur. Failure Modes and Effect Analysis versus Healthcare Failure Modes and Effect Analysis The Healthcare Failure Modes and Effect Analysis tool was formed by combining industry's FMEA model with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point tool together with components from the VA's root cause analysis process. HFMEA is a systematic approach to identify and prevent product and process problems before they occur. Let's understand the difference between FMEA and healthcare FMEA with the help of a video lecture. Failure Modes and Effects Analysis FMEA versus Healthcare Failure Modes and Effects Analysis HFMEA. The first three steps in Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis HFMEA are identical to those in FMEA. Although severity and probability definitions, actions and outcomes as well as the designation of actions to specific team members are present in FMEA and Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis HFMEA, these components are substantially modified in Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis HFMEA. Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis HFMEA includes some new components that are not used in FMEA such as the HFMEA Hazard Scoring Matrix and the HFMEA Decision Tree. HFMEA comprises healthcare specific definitions for severity, probability and detectability. HFMEA is a systematic engineering based approach used to identify system vulnerabilities and correct problems in healthcare before they occur. In 2001, the Veterans Administration VA, National Center for Patient Safety NCPS, specifically designed the HFMEA tool for risk assessment in the healthcare field. The HFMEA tool was developed by combining industry's FMEA model with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point HACCP tool together with components from the VA's Root Cause Analysis RCA process. FMEA is best applied to devices, products, components, whereas HFMEA is best applied to systems and human factors. FMEA considers detectability, but in HFMEA, detectability is not emphasized that much. FMEA considers criticality and frequency separately, whereas HFMEA considers criticality along with severity and frequency. Summary FMEA is a systematic, proactive method for evaluating a process to identify where and how it might fail and to assess the relative impact of different failures in order to identify the parts of the process that are most in need of change. Different operational tools exist for proactively predicting the occurrence of failure and therefore for reducing the risk of future occurrence. The modification of traditional FMEA, known as Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis, was introduced in 2001 by the U.S. Department of VA and CPS. Failure Modes and Effects Analysis is a systematic proactive method for evaluating a process to identify where and how it might fail and to assess the relative impact of different failures in order to identify the parts of the process that are most in need of change. It seeks to enhance patient safety by reducing risk potential 
in high risk processes. Failure modes and effects analysis includes review of the following steps in the process, failure modes, that is, what could go wrong, failure causes, that is, why would the failure happen, failure effects, that is, what would be the consequences of each failure. Common terminologies used in FMEA are failure mode. This is the manner in which a product part can fail to meet specification. It is usually associated with a defect or non conformance Effect. It is the impact on a customer if a failure mode is not prevented or corrected. Cause. It is the deficiency that results in a failure mode. Causes are sources of variability associated with key process input variables. There are various operational tools exist for proactively predicting the occurrence of failure and minimizing the risk of occurrence of failure in future. Differing slightly in focus and methodology, each of such tools allows complex operational systems to be examined with the objective of identifying factors predisposing to error occurrence. Even though what is being analyzed is somewhat different and the assessment criteria may change some, the step-by-step -step approach or technique still remains the same. There are three main types of FMEA in use today. System FMEA, Design FMEA and Process FMEA. This type of failure mode and effects analysis is mainly used to analyze complete system and or subsystems during the concept of design stage. This is the highest level analysis of an entire system which is made up of various subsystems. This quality tool is used to analyze a product design before it is released to manufacturing and hence it focuses on product design usually at the subsystem level or component level. The process failure mode and effects analysis are used to analyze manufacturing and or assembly process. Process FMEA is probably the most commonly used and is also the least complex in most cases. The provision of healthcare hinges on a complex series of interaction among doctors, nurses, technologists, scientists, patients and technology. And so FMEA is certainly appropriate for use as a proactive tool to improve patient safety and efficiency within the hospital. The healthcare failure modes and effect analysis tool was formed by combining industry's FMEA model with the US Food and Drug Administration's hazard analysis and critical control point tool together with components from the VA's root cause analysis process. HFMEA is a systematic approach to identify and prevent product and process problems before they occur. Keywords FMEA Failure Modes and Effects Analysis FMEA is a systematic, proactive method for evaluating a process to identify where and how it might fail and to assess the relative impact of different failures, in order to identify the parts of the process that are most in need of change. HFMEA the modification of traditional FMEA known as Healthcare Failure Mode and Effect Analysis HFMEA was introduced in 2001 by the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs National Center for Patient Safety. Further readings